Hello and welcome to our A Place Victoria C Block, it's episode 334. And let's see where we're at. So, a large thing that I did is I added some charging pads here and there. It looks like these guys can use one more. And here, yeah, this is also a RoboPort. Yeah, we want to keep more of them in the air, basically. That's that's a big thing. If we look at power usage, yeah, that's, I mean, it's, it makes sense that, that uh, yeah, th this should be more or less constant. Like, the, the stuff that's going to dominate now is not so much like what used to happen where I would just go somewhere and like all kinds of robots would kickstart right it's really more um yeah the, the actually keeping the base working is actually a big part of uh yeah why it something works or doesn't work uh yeah, we actually have a charging pad right here so i don't know what what these guys are on about so but well yeah let's uh, give them one maybe maybe they were just waiting for that no, this actually seems to work pretty nicely. Okay, sweet, yeah. Let's see, and if we go for you guys, you're at 38, okay. That's looking uh, not so bad. Um, it's still progressing. If we look at research, artillery is gonna be up next again. Like basically, I do wanna be able to sort of expand this easily. Um, that's the main reason why we're doing artillery because if we manage to do artillery we can basically expand this infinitely down um, maybe we do need yeah actually like if we if we do like an artillery setup on on the ends then it would work probably which could be interesting then we can just infinitely scale this down without ever going there like that would be the dream basically and then the construction bots, like, they're just level ones. It's gonna be fine. Like, I use my con construction bots more uh, for eventual consistency than for like, getting something done quickly. Like, copying something and, and then I'm okay waiting a bit. That's fine. Uh, whereas the logistics bots are really an essential part of the network, right? Um, let's see. I maybe should be taking the productivity modules out of uh, the robot 2 production like we can be making more and we really should be so and then we can just make th these guys are limited on the oh no they're actually not limited on the frames uh, they're li limited on these guys well that is something we can solve somewhat um but yeah i mean these guys having prod modules doesn't make much much sense either so let's just get you some speed modules and then maybe the arms yeah let's just upgrade that too just because we can uh, yeah that that should be a lot better uh, i don't know if these guys are gonna be okay but this this should help like in a big way um like at least we're gonna get some some level twos added to the network. Yeah, and we're really, yeah, we should maybe have a little bit more dedicated production to this. Like, build a small array of of machines doing this because as is, like, we're clearly, yeah, running into issues there, right? Um. Of course, we'd rather get these guys in there, but for that we need some of the other stuff. So that's we're we're also. I, th I guess the issue still is. Let's see. So if we look at you guys, are you bottlenecked on anything? Yeah. On. Um, yeah. Basically of these guys right so we're, we're using a ton of bots to actually um bring over like these large amounts of components and that's the issue so if we would were to redesign some stuff to um take less bots from that then that would be massively helpful 
like these guys yeah I I went a little bit ham on this I guess like it 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 sort of works but we really should be redesigning this to to to, to be embedded into this system so if we do like a production of these guys in the middle then it would would be a lot more helpful so the only issue is that we don't really want the, the uncoiling machines to be everywhere that's just kind of wacky mm, so that could be problematic but other than that like it should be fine if we manage to fix that Right, we, we just want to do more direct insertion and this was a little bit too much. Like, it's okay that we have some of this. Um, because I'm pretty sure, yeah, we're all also using them for, for these guys, right? So that's that's okay. Um, but yeah, for the for these, we're doing direct insertion. And I think that was a big, big plus, basically. So let's maybe redesign the red circuits. To do something with direct insertion and that should lower the, the load on the robot network if we look at fluids how's that going it should be better but uh, no this is actually backlogged interesting and um, well not so backlogged but it's it's gonna be at some point right yeah yeah it looks like it is that's pretty sweet. Um, we're actually semi low on mineral uh, mineral thingies. Not not that low, but it's it's an interesting amount. Um, okay, this is not really something we want, I guess. Why are you guys? Oh, we're low on oxygen. We're low on oxygen. Is that gonna be? That, that is a flow issue, right? Because we have a bunch of oxygen being burned up here. Yeah, okay. So for oxygen, there's also an issue. And yeah. Okay, yeah, we're really, we're, we are running into the flow issues now. Like we could produce some extra oxygen up here, but that's just a little bit weird. But I mean, yeah, why not? I mean, if we use the hydrogen, it's it's so awkward. How's how's the oxygen in the rest of the network? Yeah, here it's just too low. Can we do like an oxygen shortcut idea? Because I'm pretty sure there should be oxygen up here somewhere. Yeah, there is up here. That's kind of low, so what we could do is just connect that from here, right? Because then we, we sort of sidestep all of this. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, and so if we look at advanced, yeah. So we don't have enough in the network and that's that's just slowly killing us. Our, well slowly killing us is a little bit a little bit far-fetched um, we're low on blues that's okay that's kind of awkward uh, I guess we're gonna cancel you then because I don't really want to spend uh, on blues if we don't have them and yeah, you're you're low on greens. Okay, that that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah, we're really we have killed our our robot network, and I guess. So the question is: is the fluids stuff is that a problem? Yeah, there's a, a decent amount of robots involved with that. But I'm not sure it's actually no that that's not actually a big deal. Like there's there's yeah. They are all being scheduled for pickup, but 
I think like this stuff is a bigger problem. At least that's what's causing problems, right? So because that's not getting delivered, we're lacking red circuits. So yeah, so these guys need both, right? So yeah, let's figure out a way to make that happen. Um, yeah, currently, do we only use the one uncoiling machine? That could be a little bit more efficient as well. Yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and and uh, redesign the red circuits. Let's also hydrate a little. There we go. Yeah. So it's gonna be yeah, better production. Yeah, the limestone stuff is also kind of awkward. If we look at Let's see. The robots do tend to be up in the air quite a lot, right? So there's some places where they're they're a little bit busy and, and having to wait for a recharger in there, but that's mostly not the case. Like mostly it's just and what's also what I also do kind of like is that we actually managed to contain most of the traffic within this area right we have some stuff going up and down like that's mainly going like ores going to smelting over here or somewhere over here but that's actually not that bad like it could have been a lot worse um yeah so and you got why are you guys stuck because you're not getting those because these guys are lacking those because you're missing an input. That's kind of awkward. Let me check. Yeah, you're missing this guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well. There we go. That should help. Um, but then for these guys, yeah, you're low because you're low, and you're actually, yeah, so for you guys, it's actually the copper wire that's mostly the problem. And uh, let's just double check that there's not a production issue, maybe there is a production issue. Maybe there is a production issue because yeah those are all scheduled for pickup i think we should have some more over here somewhere maybe maybe not actually let's see we have upper wire coil yeah, i guess maybe we don't have enough Let's see, we have a bunch going up here. Oh yeah, we have some extra coil. coil. Yeah, but they're all scheduled for pickup. And if we look at... Ah, oh, but we're also kind of short on ingots. Uh, and ingots... That, those... Yeah, should be in decent supply, so... It's not, the issue is not, it's, it's just a symptom of like the network being clogged a little bit. Yeah, we really do need more robots. Like it's still, it's still an issue. And I think we got like a couple of, like maybe a hundred extras in the meantime. Yeah, let's see if we can uh, make something happen with these guys and then we'll figure out so the way we we set that up is we make sure that the non-robot controlled ones have higher um, higher limits so that they will keep producing and then we set it up that way yeah so the the issue with this is that we're using a lot of machines to um, like maybe do something that's sort of superfluous in some sense, but yeah, that's that's a cost we'll have to uh, to take. 
Uh, actually, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll just rebuild it. So if we look at this, then what we want to do is you are going to make these guys. And we're going to request them. That seems like a good plan, right? Uh, let's do this with fast inserters as well. And that, yeah, let's say you're gonna request that too. So these guys, like this is all stuff that I'm okay flying in. That should be all right. Then uh, we can do this in the network and we have, so then basically we need um, so what if we do it like this? So then you guys are going to be making, not those, you're going to be making these guys. Yeah, that looks to be all right. Um, there we go. And then, so these guys, we need uh, basic electronic components and transistors. We need four of each. So let's do these up here. And I guess it's kind of ugly that it's not symmetrical. We can move this guy out one more. Yeah, but we have four in between here. Yeah. I mean, so be it then. Um, so let's set it up like this then, I guess. Um yeah so actually yeah from this side we're gonna have another one right so we're gonna have not that one uh, but uh, this one right yeah transistors and then we're gonna have another one like if we alternate these guys then that's fairly efficient right and then the only thing is, yeah, that we have, um, I think, these guys with prod modules. So you guys, but then with prod modules to do the the more uh, like the the final step, right? Let's just check. We're using prod modules over here in these guys, and then they take from two of them. Yeah. So. Let's see if we can uh, fit this in there as well, right? So we copy you. We have this going on. Uh, we have this going on. Then you are gonna get from this guy. Yeah, so, oh yeah. So the issue here is that we need um, the wire, right? So, uh, yeah. Um, so, it makes sense that we get the carbon from here, but the wire, we then want to go get up here. So you're going to be uncoiling wire, uh, this guy, and then we'll do it like that. So you pick up drop, same for you, right? So you are also going to need wire. Yep. Pick up drop. Um, you'll be grabbing from here, like that, um, yeah, so this is a little bit asymmetrical, but let's, let's do it like this, just to make it symmetrical, and you'll drop here, um, yes, so then, yeah, you are gonna get this, but we'll cancel you. And there we go. Then you're gonna need a new setup. We're gonna do the same like this. We're gonna put you over here. Uh, make you drop up here. And then do one, two, three again. So. Yeah, so the issue is that this this guy needs like a, an end of line machine for the transistors. So let's make that happen. Uh, let's do uh, a 
wiring machine as well. Yeah, so if we want to cover that, then we don't need to do anything special, but yeah, basically um, yeah, so we're gonna, if we can, let's copy this, right? So we're gonna do this, but then yeah, you're, you're gonna need some sort of way to get this stuff and I guess we can use just use a a full request request for that. That's that's probably fine. Just to get the end of the line. Um, but then these guys really do need. So you're gonna be outputting up here uh, requests as well for some stuff, right? Uh, not these though um, and I guess we want to do yeah, cable uncoiling here as well but we have the space for that right yeah so we can what we can do is do it like this cancel you I guess and just insert it directly like that yeah, that works out and then we well, do need a little bit of setup here but I think this should be okay you're gonna grab from here you're gonna be doing this and we'll set you like that okay so you're gonna be uh, like 400 okay so is this all good like we're clearly lacking some in uh, power and inserter still probably but this is fine, we need you. Uh, you guys need solder as well. So if we put that up here, let's see. You don't need this, 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 just the solder, which we actually don't have that much of either, but yeah, well, we can, we can uncork that somewhere here as well. Uh, so you're gonna do it like this. And uh, you're gonna do it like, this and actually pick up over here yeah so if we just go check everything and then we're not there by a long shot you're missing no you're actually you're all good you should be all good if we get this stuff over here right did i get this there we go okay so you're gonna be fine you're I'm gonna get copper cable from this guy that's gonna be okay you're gonna supply both of these um yes and then if we set this yeah if we set this up repeatedly then we should be okay uh, but we do want uh, yeah so we want you to output like over there right over here i guess and then you to do the same yes so then you're gonna get yeah, you're gonna not get everything but this should be fine okay so let's see and then basically this setup we want to get like over here as well that's a little bit ugly but if it works that's fine yeah so the only issue is that we're gonna be doing uncoiling here and we probably want to get some modules in there same for you but yeah you're you're gonna need yeah so this guy needs to be aligned with this machine probably no it doesn't right it needs to be one up um okay so let's clear a little bit of space up here and figure out if this works out so let's power some stuff and like this like this this 
this. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this over here. Yeah, and then that should be okay, I think. Yeah, except this is a little bit awkward. But that's they, these are just basically markers for this stuff, right? Yeah, so you're gonna copy this. Let's check what the, these guys are at. They're actually not in a weird spot. Okay. So let's see where we're going then. So you guys still need uh, some, some sugar from here. There we go. Yeah. So then these guys, yeah, this guy apparently had some tin copper wire. That's fine. And of course we need to uh, connect up the iron uh, stuff. That's still the single machine doing all the heavy lifting, I think, which is amazing to me. Like I, oops, that doesn't work. Did I mess this up? I did mess this up, even though I specifically wanted to stay out of this uh, stuff. Yeah, it is. Uh, I really... Hey, the number. Welcome to the stream. It is amazing what you can make out of water in the end. Though actually, it's not just water, right? It's also air. Uh, let's see. We are mainly, I think, nitrogen and a little oxygen, which we're venting, I think. That's that's coming from air. Which, yeah, it's... Uh, amazing technologies. It it still wouldn't work in the real world because we need a shit ton of electricity to make this work, which, you know, we may or may not have. This is actually looking okay. And what about you? You're still lacking these guys. Let's see, does this work out? You should be getting some from here. Yeah, okay, so I, I failed on that front. But other than that, that should be okay. Let's see. You're gonna get some productivity modules. Yeah, and then I think... Let's see. This guy just gets to run. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, and, and like we're a little bit short on some stuff. But that's okay. Like that's gonna be delivered, hopefully. Yeah, I mean... Loss of thermodynamics, uh, I don't know. That uh, seems something for physicists. Maybe, you know, only Maxwell cares. And uh, let's see. Um, we'll continue on stream, but this also seems like a good point to make a cut for YouTube. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps people like you find it too. Thanks.